guys, happy Saturday again. So I am here with my new little boy. Um, if you all haven't seen, this is the baby from Russia. Um, so if you're just popping on and you don't want to look at him, um, the box opening, ugh, <laughs> I can't even talk. The box opening is the previous video. Uh, it was a huge, huge surprise. Um, that he arrived today um so um he is another tink uh it's a little boy tink this is the baby that i've been waiting for uh from russia and not very long so it I, i'm i'm just in shock guys i'm in total shock i literally i had just you know, looked at the tracking yesterday and it, it was the same, just the, um, uh, March 4th was the last scan and there was like four scans of like process through what looked like the same facility in Russia. I didn't see him leave Russia, go through customs, get here, nothing, nothing. I went on today, a bunch of scans were on there. I don't, I have to look to see even exactly what they were, but of course I just took note of the last one that said, um, today's date at the at the post office and um I had the phone in my hand I was about to call my local post office to say is is the package at this post office is it coming and knock knock at the door I couldn't believe it so this precious little boy arrived in a snowstorm. It's a we have a nor'easter going on. It's pretty much settling down out there uh, now. But uh, this little baby arrived through the sleet and the snow all the way from Russia. Can you all believe it? And I was so nervous, uh, you know, about if I was truly going to uh, love this baby. It's an artist that, you know, uh, it was unfamiliar to me other than I knew she was, you know, a very reputable master artist, but, you know, I had never adopted from her. And I could see in the pictures that he has more of a fair uh, skin tone. So I, I, I was a little like, mm, you know, but he's just, he's just precious. He's absolutely precious. He's not as uh, light skinned as I thought he would be, um, actually. Um, and we're going to do, a, um, we're, I'm going to show you details. I have not weighted him uh, to my uh, liking yet. Uh, he's pretty close. He's got a good amount of weight in his tush. Um, I just want um, a little more weight. Uh, his head might be okay. I'll see when I get started. I might want just a tad bit more weight in his head and, uh, a little more weight in his, uh, middle. Um, so I figured I would hold him for a minute before I lay him down for a details video and I will bring Harley on for the details video. You guys can compare. I thought it would be kind of cool to compare since, whoops, since I have two tinks here um, to it from two different artists to compare that. I thought that that would be fun. But first, I need to announce this little guy's name. I spent a little bit of time with him. I fed him because, of course, I'm sure he was starving from his very long trip. But he did make it safe and sound. Um, so, everyone, please welcome Jameson. That's his name, Jameson. I thought that um, it went very nice with Harley. I did not want to do Davidson. I don't care for Davidson that much, the name. I mean, I like it, but not enough to want to name my son it. <laughs> um, I do love the name Jameson. Uh, you know, I guess Jamie is a nickname, but really Jameson. Uh, I love the name Jameson. And I thought that it, it complemented Harley, Harley and Jameson, uh, very nicely because they are going to be twins, even though they're not obviously identical or even from the same artist. They are the same size sculpt, so they are going to be my twin tanks. So come on and let's take a look at some details of this little guy. 
All right, guys. Um, so I just want to note um, that these are uh, reborn dolls. Um, they are vinyl and cloth um, dolls. Uh, they 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 are art dolls. They are sculpts. They are not um, real. Uh, I I have I am <laughs> chancing it here, but I I didn't add their belly plates. Um, because I thought that that kind of almost, you know, when you show the belly, that might be a little more realistic. Um, but I do have both um, Harley and Jameson down to their, uh, you know, in their diapers. So hopefully that this will be okay. Um, because I really wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm standing up here on my chest. I really wanted to show you guys the, the tank, you know, I, I know it's a new sculpt. Everyone likes to see people who are considering. I don't want to take the diapers off to show the entire bodies. Um, but I think you could get a pretty good idea, um, like this. Uh, so hopefully this will fly. <laughs> hopefully this will be okay. Um, so there is a details video up of, of Harley right after her box opening. Um, but I just was, you know, put her up here just, you know, so you guys can get a comparison between the artists. Um, we're going to start with Jameson because, of course, this is his details video. So here he is in all his glory. Mr. Jameson. Um, I'm going to start down here with his, uh, with his feet, which of course you all have seen the sculpt in, um, in Harley just the other day. Uh, Jameson definitely has a, uh, lighter, um, skin tone and guys, I'm sorry, it is snowing outside. So, uh, this is the best that I've got as far as, uh, lighting. Um, as you can see, Jameson has um, a lot of mottling. He's got a little pimple there on his leg, ac actually. Um, very hyper-realistic. Lots of veining, lots of mottling. I love that. I love, love that. Um, especially, of course, for a newborn. You know, his the bottoms of his feet have blue. Um, and look at all that mottling, guys. I hope the camera is picking it up um, because he is painted absolutely stunning really really beautiful um harley has similar uh mottling uh you can see the bottoms of, of her feet um but she has a much more uh tanner glow to her um you can see there there are two knees uh together but like i was saying um, Jameson is not as light and pale as I thought he would be. I think that his mottling, uh, mottling and veining, uh, just give him a, a lot of color, you know, gives him more color than I thought that he would have. Um, I was expecting it even paler of a baby. So I'm happy to see that he's not as pale as I thought. Oh, he's pinkies there. <laughs> um, but so you can see, uh, you know, the differences. And uh, like I said, look, see, Harley's got all that beautiful um, mottling as well. She just has that Myra's glow, you know, that's, you know, Myra's babies have that glow. Her creasing is um, probably a little bit more defined than his is, but his is just done in more of a of a like purpley tone and hers is done in more of a you know reddish and tan uh tone so just two different styles of painting um both in my opinion um very beautiful and i i love them both um and of course i don't want all the same thing in my collection so I i'm enjoying um the differences between them absolutely i'm very much enjoying so you can see their their arms um and again jameson you know let's get you didn't look at him so you know he's got quite a lot of you know mottling there on his arms his his hand, I mean, he's just done absolutely beautifully. He could have maybe a little bit darker in the creasing, but it goes with his, you know, uh, it's it's still done very well. Um, you know, he, he looks right. 
You see all the mottling on that arm. You know, that that's a lot, a lot of a lot of work there. And um Harley the same. Look at all that mottling. These two babies are are just to me uh, just stunning. Look at the two arms there. And then we get to their little faces. So Jameson has a to me, I'm looking at his eyes. I'm trying to look not through the camera. I think these are great, considered green eyes or a blue green. They're very pretty. His eyelashes are done just uh just gorgeous, gorgeous. They're full, they're perfect. Um, his eyebrows are uh, textured and uh, painted just beautifully as well. Uh, his little lips are more of a uh, peachy pink. And uh, Harley's lips are more of a um, uh, maroony red. Um, and, of, and Harley's eyelashes are even more longer and wispier, but she's a girl, so that's perfect. I love the way Myra does does eyelashes. Um, so Harley has, you know, more color and and uh, creasing and stuff in in her face, and her eyes are blue. And Jameson, you know, has green eyes and, you know, his face is a bit paler, but it goes with his, you know, what he's supposed to look like. <laughs> um, so here's the side view of them. Look at them, sweeties. His hair, his rooting is absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, he has brown hair. He has short brown hair. Um, it's a little more sparsely rooted on the sides. Um, he has uh, bangs in the front. And, the, you know, the way she cut his hair is absolutely beautiful. It's rooted absolutely stunning. I'm trying to get in up close. And this is mono-rooted. His hair is mono-rooted one strand at a time, this baby's hair is. And, uh, you know, he's got some of, like, the peach fuzz on the side. Um, this is this is extremely soft hair. Um, he, I haven't even brushed it. I mean, this is the way he came. It definitely is, whatever hair this is, uh, is nice. Um... Especially for um, a young baby. Oh, my nail is ugly. <laughs> Especially for, you know, a little baby like this. Just, it's so, it's very fine and very uh, soft. Now, Harley's hair is extremely soft and I love it. And it kind and it's, and it's much more, you know, fuller. And it poofs up on the top and kind of poofs and spikes up on the top. She looks like a little chickadee. I love that. And it's also, of course, beautifully, beautifully rooted. Um, this is Delta Dawn. And, and Harley has a magnet. So you see her little bow there. I just made that for her yesterday. Um, but the, I can tell you that the Delta Dawn, as soon as you lay the baby down, like if I put her head to the side, her hair, you know, it's... The Delta Dawn, it, there's a lot of maintenance to it. It's, it's all right. You know, I love it. It's a beautiful quality uh, hair. And, of course, Myra's rooting is amazing, amazing. Um, it's just a little more um, maintenance, you know, for the hair. That's all. Um, and this, you know, Jameson's hair, and I don't know what the artist uh, used. Um, the eBay just said, uh, uh, you know, high quality high quality or best quality premium mohair or something to that effect you know she didn't name the brand and I know a lot of artists are funny about that and won't <laughs> you know so um I'd love to know what kind of hair this is to be honest with y'all <laughs> I really would so I am going to get them uh 
dressed and I did show his belly plate in the uh, box opening video so I'm not gonna go um, dig for that now um, but he is a little sweetie I think they look really really sweet together um, as twins boy and girl uh, tinks and um, you know I'm very happy with him it was it was so nerve-wracking and it was such a huge huge surprise um, then he arrived today I mean I was not expecting that at all I was shocked um, as you can see I have put a Pampers on him uh, which is size newborn Kimberly if you happen to have the occasion to watch this you were asking about uh, the diapers for Tink, and see, this is a Pampers newborn. Um, so I think the preemie probably would fit, of course, as well, and just be a little more snug or come down a little lower here, but the newborn's just fine. Um, he had on uh, this diaper, which I can't, don't even know what size it is because it says one, two, three on it, <laughs> and um, it has some sort of um, foreign writing on it. Uh, so I have no idea, but it's quite large. <laughs> it's quite large. Um, so anyway, uh, that's the details of little Jameson. And that's my two tinks that I am very happy with. And I'm going to get them all, get them in some onesies. And I'll talk to you all a little bit more. All right, guys. So I got both the babies back up in my arms. Hang on. Let me just... Whoopsies. Maybe, guys, I should have done this. <laughs> How are we there? Alrighty. So, oh my goodness, what a day. I have a roast in the oven now. Um, if I knew I that I was getting a new baby today, it, I would have, you know, all, probably ordered in. <laughs> um, because it's always nice to you know, have that extra time to just, you know, sit and bond and enjoy the newness of a baby. And, um, I still do want to, um, uh, need to wait him, um, the way that I would like, cause I definitely feel, you know, a bit of a difference. And I, I really love the way that Harley is weighted. So look at me with little tiny twins in my arms again. Um, sort of like the Twinkies, but there's a difference in these two babies. Um, so I, I'm, I'm just, I'm really happy. I'm so happy Jameson is home. Um, he's, he's really just a sweetheart. I, I was, I was seriously concerned. I felt like it was like a, you know, well, it was, it was like an impulse, you know, decision. Um, and sometimes, we regret those, um, <laughs> you know, I, I've done it in the past, um, but I don't feel, uh, regret here, um, he is just absolutely, um, he's just precious, uh, you know, and the artist, I would not hesitate, um, to adopt from, from this artist again, um, she's, she does beautiful work. And of course, of course, so does Myra. I think Myra has, I know her Zara was available. Um, I think I saw that yesterday. Um, she could be adopted by now. Um, but I, but I did see the uh, Zara beautiful. I mean, if I, if I love sleeping babies, whew, she's a beauty. Um, and uh, she may even have others. I, I'm not sure exactly, but, uh, you know, Myra is uh, Harley's artist, and I highly, highly recommend her. And uh, Jameson's artist is uh, Natalia Kokonovalova. I can't pronounce it. Um, but in the box opening, um, I put her name at the end and in the description as well. Um, so you can see that because I'll never pronounce her last name. Um, but I'm just thrilled. I'm just thrilled with him. I can't, I'm, I, um, um, I, you know, we always talk about how, oh, it's so surreal. It's so surreal. Well, this is like over the top beyond surreal that these two, both of them are in my arms together and that he's home safe because I was like, I was getting to the point where, 
we were going on, I think, nine days with no scan. And I was just like, uh, you know, who do I call in Russia, the Russian post who had him? You know, like I, I was worried, <laughs> you know, I probably, you know, I wanted to reach out to the artist and say, oh, is this normal? But I didn't want to bother her. I probably would have in a day or two for sure. Um, but I was getting nervous. And then, of course, you know, they're going through customs. They're traveling a long while. I mean, you all saw the box opening, what that box looked like. It was, uh, wow, you know. So you worry that, you know, if the box really gets crushed, you know, I, I just, I was very worried. Um, I didn't have a bad feeling about it. I was just, you know, again, you know how, you all know how it is when you have a baby in transit. Speaking of which, um, Brooklyn arrived to her mommy yesterday. Um, she did arrive Saturday, um, but her mommy had ran out to the store and missed the delivery. And But when she messaged me, it was later on uh in the evening um because i would have said run up to your post office but maybe they were closing i'm not sure um but she did in fact um go and get her uh yesterday morning um she absolutely adores her she sent me pictures she's in this adorable little outfit uh she named her is it kendall i have to look i have i have to look again at kendall or kendra kendall or kendra one of those um, very pretty name, and she looked beautiful in the photos. Um, so her mommy's thrilled. She loves, because I had reweighted uh, Graceland. Um, I gave her quite a bit more weight. Um, there's a video up. I was talking about that back in, you know, like October or something like that. But um, she was so thrilled that I had made her so nice and heavy. So, um, yeah, she's thrilled with her, and I am here just like... I must look like a deer in the headlights right now because I am, I am shocked that I, that I'm sitting here with these two babies, these two amazing little babies in my arms and the sculpt itself, they're just so precious. I can't say enough about the tank sculpt. If you're thinking about adopting a tank and you're wondering with the sculpt, I, do it. <laughs> you know, um... Find a great artist and adopt a tank <laughs> because, uh, you know, just, I don't know, for me, this tiny baby and this sculpt just pings a very special place in my heart. Um, it just does, uh, you know, it, it just, they just represent such, you know, new life and innocence and they just do so all right guys uh i won't hold you on forever because i gotta stitch, put the videos uh together and um thank you for this you know being here uh if you're still here listening thank you for you know sharing in this amazing journey with me and seeing my babies come home um you know, two in one week. Uh, you know, Harley was on Saturday and Jameson here today on Tuesday. So it's just unbelievable. And so they're both safe at, at home. And uh, now we can start with some fun role play videos, right? <laughs> All right, everyone. Have a great day. God bless.